Hello everyone, welcome back again to this tutorial. So in today's tutorial, we learn about how to do part of speech target, right, in Julia. So the package that we're using, the test analysis package, does not yet support part of speech target. So one of the ways of trying to do part of speech target in Julia is to use a different package, right, so NLTK package. So that is the advantage of Julia. If you don't have the package, once a programming language like Python or Java or R is having it, you can just import those package into Julia and then use it. So that's what you're going to be, you'll be doing. So first of all, you have to install that package in the language that you want to use. So we have Python, so we'll be install, installing it with pip install. So let's try that one. It's going to be something like this. So pip install NLTK, right? But I have NLTK. So I've already installed it already, so we just move straight away to it. So after installing it, you just open your Python, so Python, whatever Python version, then import NLTK, right? Perfect. So after, after importing it, you just go with NLTK dot download, then this. So it open a pop-up for you, and then you select the package that you want, right? So it's better that if you have space, you can download all of the packages. Perfect. So this is a pop-up and then you can select all if you have space, then you can just select it, right? So install it, all those that you need. Okay. So it takes some time for you to do it. Perfect. Okay. So now let's move on to... So after installing it and downloading whatever you need, you can just go with using Conda, right? So using Conda in your Julia. Then you go with Conda.add, then NLTK. So you're going to add all those things from Python inside your Julia box so that you can use it. So that I can just call it with Python. So using PyCall. So now let's see how to do that perfectly. So we're just going to import the part of speed tag from NLTK to use it in Julia. So we're going to go with at Py, Py import, which is a macro, then NLTK dot tag, that is the whole model of that package has P, P tag, right? It can be any of them. Then we are going to apply this P tag to do all the those things. So this is our string, so this can be same as test analysis dot string. It's the same thing because it's coming from test analysis, but let's go straight away with this. So this is the test. The string is that July is a very July is fast. It's very fast, but it's still young. Right, July is about like five years, so it's still young, and but the order is fast. So now let's see. It's going to analyze it that this is going to be a test analysis of a string document right now let's first of all to be able to do the part of speech tag you have to tokenize them and now it's going to do the part of speech for every word <laughs> which is not for every alphabet or every letter which is not the best way so we are going to tokenize it with tokens then of x of this example that you have right so it's going to tokenize the entire words sentence or string for us so julia is very all of these are just Unigrams or one tokens of this way. Now, just after this, we can apply our part of speech tagging on it. So let's apply our part, part of speech tagging. So to do that, it's going to be p tag dot pass underscore tag, right? This is from the NOT package. Then we're going to apply it on this our token, entire token. So when you do that, it's going to give us an excellent part of speech tagging. So Julia is a noun, perfect. This is a verb very fast these are all adjective but it is all of them is perfectly tagged on. so that is how to do part of the pitch tagging in this in julia using nltk via pico so thank you for watching if you have any questions or contribution or even have a better way of doing this can let me know in the comment below thank you and stay blessed